It has been a half a century or so since the heyday of pirate radio when young people set up their own stations uncensored and unregulated and changed the world of broadcasting. But now an old school pirate station has popped up in Fernwood. It's 99.1 FM, Thursday nights at 9. And CTV's Andrew Johnson shows us how a one-man operation online in Souk has people headbanging halfway around the world. I'm taking this antenna right here. I'm going to hike it up to the top of the steeple on this. Roof. They say we spend too much time online. They call the internet a corpse. But they insist radio is living and breathing. So at the top of a ladder outside a Fernwood home late last year, in the dark, a pirate radio station is born. Hello, hello. This is Joey Chaos giving you Fernwood Autonomous Radio 99.1 on the FM dial. The signal reaches only from about Fort to Hillside, but it's strong enough to pay a tribute to the counterculture of the 1960s. What these these local groups are doing, uh, I would like to say, is almost an homage to 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 the uh, to the time when uh, pirate radio really was uh, subversive, when it was you know associated with um, uh, subversive movements and the left and so forth uh, to get out a message. Their potential audience all lives in the same neighborhood. A very different approach than what's going on in this living room in Souk. Fans and listeners of Broken Neck Radio, this is DJ Z. Also known as Stan Shinners, whose 24-7 online heavy metal station can be heard around the world. Currently right now you're seeing uh, there's five in the U.S., two in Canada, one in Australia. There's one person listening in Uganda. There's one listening in Germany. I was actually applying at a different radio station and... Uh, they, I was being, you know, denied for whatever reason, and you know, my son saw the frustration. I mean, he looked at me one day and said, "Hey, why don't you just start your own?" And so he did. Six months ago, to the delight of headbangers in more than 100 countries, good news for unsigned Vancouver Island talent. But to start the set off, we've got some also from Souk, Souk BC's very own Rotten Rails. <laughs> Schinner says despite its reputation, you'd be surprised how many people listen to metal, including his dentist, a doctor he knows in Langford, and a certain TV reporter he just met. Schinner's hopes his favorite pastime can become a career. Gil Wilkes at Royal Roads University says online copyright law could be a buzzkill. As long as it's, you know, a hobbyist uh, or, you know, uh, somebody who really loves what they're doing, you know, some, uh, 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 with their niche, everybody's happy. Um, uh, as, uh, once it starts to become commercially viable, those who are already in business will have a problem with it. 12 watts of pure FM power sludging its way towards your stereo system. For now, the people behind Fernwood Autonomous Radio. All right, and there we heard some Slayer. And Broken Neck Radio are just having a lot of fun. Andrew Johnson, CTV News.